Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and the video I did yesterday, I had discussed my previous bicep tear, and I'm not going to say a lot of people because I only saw one person ask it, but I thought, hey, this is a fantastic question. They said, given my own life experiences and knowledge, do I have any tips on avoiding having major tendons rupture, and which again causes things like biceps to retract and require surgery to repair, and do I have any general tips on that? And yeah, I do. I have a few tips that will prevent probably 90 to 95% of these type of injuries, Number one on the list is going to be pay attention to your connective tissue. When things start to hurt, when joints, when connective tissue start to hurt and you know that your form is right. Now, obviously, if you don't know that your form is perfect on a lift, like my videos on tricep tendonitis and things like that, if you're having issues like that, change your, your lift style and your technique to see if that helps. But if that isn't helping in general, if you know you're performing lifts correctly, like squats should never hurt your knees. Squats should never hurt your tendons. Uh, done correctly so you know it's not that exercise causing it it's time to go ahead and take a deload not taking deloads when connective tissue starts to get inflamed dramatically increases your chances of uh, rupturing a tendon and having a, again a muscle just separate from the bone which really sucks it has to be surgically repaired if that happens so effective use of deloads and just paying attention to that is your first line of defense up next is going to be training things through full range of motion. A lot of people are really, really bad about doing partial reps a lot without ever doing full range of motion. If you're going down and squatting, you're not squatting two pins. If you half squat or you're not going to parallel or lower and you're not squatting from metal pins or safeties on every single rep so that you just have free air there, you're bench pressing and stopping short of your chest. And that's how you train all the time. Same with curls. You're coming down, you're not quite locking at the bottom you are increasing your chances of rupturing connective tissue. And particularly even things like the bicep, uh, lack of range of motion, it can potentially increase your chances of hurting yourself when you're deadlifting. So if you're, if you're stronger at the bottom of the range of motion because you're used to doing full range of motion on your curls, that can give you a little bit of potential extra defense against uh, rupturing a bicep on a deadlift. But doing any of those big heavy compound movements with partials to where you do not have some sort of method in place to stop you from doing the full range of motion, is going to increase the chances of uh, causing a problem like a pec tear from the bench press. So you need to be aware of those things. Don't do those sort of things. And at the very least, if you're going to do partials of any type, you should have some sort of mechanical safeties in place for the partials. And you should probably be performing the full range of motion exercises in addition to it. All right, but those are a couple of tips that will prevent 90 to 95% of the connective tissue injuries and tendon ruptures that you see out there. So I hope it has been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.